Yeah, hi everyone, welcome to Lodge for another week. A uh, bit of a non-event this week, um, through a few different reasons, some um, bad barriers and tracks and whatever. We didn't uh, didn't have any runners this week, but uh, we've got quite a few in the upcoming week. So uh, let's have a look at them now. Got a little bit of guts in a couple of spots. She um, just drew the car park the other day, so we took her out. So she'll, um, she'll. Uh, I've got her in at Geelong on Friday, and also Matawa on Saturday. It's uh, quite ironic. It's the exact same prize money. It's, it's incredible, isn't it? Geelong's got the same prize money as Matawa. So um, we've got her in both races there. We'll have a good look at which one we take her to. Um, got a lot of rain today, so Geelong might be a real heavy track. So we'll just have to really have a, bit, a close look at where we actually go with her. Um, she goes through the soft going, but I'm not a fan of her on a heavy track. So, But um, she'll either go to Geelong on Friday or Matoa on Saturday. It's a little Miss Gutter. Got Bingo's Bang in at Echuca tomorrow. Um, going up to the 1200, he just, uh, he's two starts this time in over a thousand metres. He sort of got back and worked home strong and just looked like the 1200 would suit him. So, uh, good race for him. Um, big track should suit him. Uh, any rain around will help us. So, um, he probably gets his chance to sort of put his head in front at uh, Echuca on Friday. That's Bingo's Bang. Champagne Saver, I've got him in at Echuca tomorrow and I've also got him in at Matoa on Saturday. So, I'll just pick which one we can get to, which is the best race for him. Um, I want to kick him out and go forward on him. We've sort of uh, been jumping out, taking a sit, getting him to relax, and he's done all that really well, but he's just sort of been plodding a little bit late. So I um, just want to put him forward and have him either leading or outside the leader. And, uh, and I think that um, when they quicken up, he'll be able to quicken up. He just got caught up in traffic the other day and the race sort of quickened and he sort of got shuffled back and then sort of worked home okay. So I just want to give him one more run. Um, he's had a big prep this horse and he's done a great job, with, but I'd just like to give him one run where we go forward and uh, see how he, ha how he handles that. So he'll either go to Echuca on Friday or Matoa on Saturday. That's Champagne Sabre. Got El Sordo in at Matoa on Saturday. Um, uh, we're going to give him a crack at the 2,000 metres. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's if you run the 2,000 or not, but um, we're going to give him every chance to do it. Uh, he's an on-speed horse on an on-speed track. Uh, you can see he's in ripping condition. His last couple of starts have been really good, um, so he'll sort of get his chance. Um, uh, I'm just not sure if he's a, a 14, 16, or 2,000 metre horse. He won over 14 really well, but he just sort of keeps giving us the impression that he wants to sort of get over a trip. So we're going to give him a go at it on Saturday, and uh, if he runs the trip. Obviously, he'll be really hard to beat because he's going really well and he's in great condition. That's El Sordo at Matoa on Saturday. G'day guys, oh, welcome to Around the Stables. Uh, this week's horse is a uh, full of energy, jumping around, bing goes bang, and I think he gets every chance to go bang on Friday at Echuca. Uh, benchmark 52 uh, on a track that you can make ground on. Uh, there'll be a bit of give in the ground. Goes up to the 1200. Tommy Stockdale rode him last start. He thought that's what he was looking for. Um, his first couple of starts, I think, have been good. He's been wide. He's been on tracks that you probably don't want to be back and wide on. And uh, I think he's still been pretty good through the line. So uh, this is probably, you know, there's, there's no, going to be no hiding at Echuca on, uh, on Friday for this horse. He's drawn a good gate. He's drawn barrier eight. So he should just be able to slide across, get into a good spot, come to the middle of the track and, uh, and really let down. So there's a bit of give in the ground, which, you know, this, this horse uh, certainly looks for. Teo Nugent ride. So... Uh, nice, strong, aggressive rider. So, um, yeah, I can't find too many uh, things wrong with uh, with this race on uh, Friday. Um, he looks well. He, he's eating great. He wouldn't look out of place at Flemington on um, on uh, on Saturday. Um, he's ready to rock and roll. Third up, so uh, 1200. So. Yep, hopefully uh, he can get back in the winner's stall. It's been a long time. He won his first start and we thought that we were going to have a nice horse, but he's just sort of lost his way a little bit. But uh, I think he finds his right race on, uh, on Friday to return to the winner's stall. That's Bing Goes Bang. That's it for another week at Empty Lodge. Thanks for watching. Uh, heading off to Bendigo today. Got a couple of horses there. Lulu's Choice has been going good, but uh, just drawn barrier 15, so that could be a disaster. But anyway, she uh, it's a good race for her, so we have a roll of the dice there. And um, uh, Bo Cougar, she's uh, been placed the last two starts on the synthetic. We go back to the grass today and up to the 2400, so uh, it's a really interesting sort of see how she goes. But um, she's also having a really good prep without winning. Um, so she probably gets her chance today. There's a, there's a nods on shot in the race, but uh, she nearly knocked off the odds on pop last time. So hopefully she can do it again. Until next week, see you later. Got Bingo's Bang in at um, 
Where's he in it? Um, Chuka. Chuka? Tomorrow? Uh, what's today? We're going to Bendigo today, Chuka tomorrow. Yep. To get that on vision? <laughs>